tomorrow is the, the Queen stage and uh, my climber legs uh, will see. Uh, I work a bit on my mountain skills before uh, coming here because I knew uh, it was important uh, here. On the paper, uh, the climb will be too hard for me, but uh, of course now I have the jersey, so I will uh, try everything to keep it. Four riders got up the road in the break near the start of the 178 km stage. But there was no Stephen Bassett or Aaron Van Pook on this occasion after their turns in both stages one and two. And that is the group, Van der Horn, Ballasted, Vertgun and Alrust up the road. He'll be looking to limit the damage on the climb in the run-in to Skull Stugger. 3 minutes 45 is the gap now, 3.45. 5 5.15, 5.15. The peloton allowed the break to build a substantial lead as the race wound through the stunning Norwegian countryside. From Bike Exchange uh, leading the pack now. For his Bike Exchange, Jake Dinelsi at the front of the peloton. Time was running out for the break with Bike Exchange and Total Energy setting a rapid pace in the chase behind. 2 minutes 55 the gap now, 2.55 the gap carries on dropping. The GC contenders were flexing their muscles in the bunch behind, with a first significant opportunity with a climb at the finish of stage three. An attack off the front looking for some sprint points. Is this to try and keep a break going? Is this because the pace just couldn't be sustained? It's very hard to know what the justification for this move is. Alrus was swept up and the remaining breakaway was running out of time but only for a few moments longer as they just cling on to that front as they pass the marker for four kilometers of the stage remaining and the tricky climb of the day just about to get underway. I knew that if I wanted to win, I had to attack in the red. And Axel told me at the beginning of the red, he told me that you play your card. I think he didn't feel at the top. The Frenchman, Victor Lefay, 26 years old, does hit the front. Je me retourne, je vois quand même qu'il y a un, un bel écart parce que bon, ils sont pas très loin visuellement, mais les pentes sont tellement raides. Et puis voilà, j'ai fini, j'avais la, la toxine jusqu'aux oreilles, comme on dit dans le jargon, mais je pense que derrière c'était pareil, donc au final, euh, voilà, c'est top. The attacks are coming behind, but it's all too late as Cofidis is terrific week. Victor Lefay takes stage three of the Arctic Race of Norway. So Lefay wins ahead of a Vacalin with Hul in third. I think we really need to get the Lamné au bout, Mayo, because it would be really génial to be able to win this Arctic Race. We came here for that, and I think we have the cards to do it. After that, it can happen, and we are going to try to defend it, that's sure. That means Lefay is the new overall leader ahead of Vacalin and Hul. Capio remains in the points jersey ahead of Zongler and now Lafay in third. Bassett retains the Peacock jersey ahead of Aaron Van Pook, the main contender, Alrust with six points after his efforts in the break. And Vacalant leads the young rider classification ahead of Conchi and Zongler. It's all set up perfectly for stage four's dramatic finale.